people are they're willing to take that risk and that's unfortunate wow. all right so we're moving into the food for thought segment okay and the first topic on the table will be the confederate flag all right. you know and, and kind of where do the 2016 candidates stand on as well as as a country here, here i what, can't believe this thing is still flying okay over a government building here's here's the problem with the confederate flag actually technically it's not a bad looking flag it's not. It, it falls in line with the whole stars and stripes yes. and red, white, and blue. And, you know, it's sad that the history behind right. it is why we need to get rid of it. Exactly. But what's nuts about the Confederate flag is that it has been enmeshed to be okay in American society for a while. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. As a kid, I used to watch Dukes of Hazzard. Me too. And, and the General Lee yes. literally had the Confederate the flag. General Lee had the Confederate flag. And here's what's nuts about it. Never yeah thought about it. No. Never thought about it. No. I just I just watched it and didn't care about it. Now I noticed when they did the remake of the movie several years ago. They took it off. They took it off. Right. Because they knew that was an issue. Right. So my thing is why have we gotten to the point where people had to die and we have to have the conversation about why the Confederate flag should not be on license plates because it is in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. You can choose choose to have that. Right. Like how we can put different things on our sure. plates. Like why is that okay? And why is it more importantly still flying at a government building? I don't know. It's on the Capitol building in um, Columbia, South Carolina, and I don't know why this has just been an okay thing and no one has said anything before this. I, I don't and my know. thing is, how much push is it going to take for that flag to come down? I'm interested to see. Like how I'm much, very, very interested Like how to much see. insult to injury? Because this is the point where we say, this needs to be stripped and wiped away from everybody's yes. state building up. Now, yes. from a personal standpoint, you can I do can't, what you, want. you can do what you want. Because I've seen people want. riding around with them on the back too. of their truck. Mm -hmm. And when I see that, I'm like, what exactly are you trying to say? Mm -hmm. Because to me, what you're saying when I see a Confederate flag on a truck or anywhere else on somebody's personal property is you're telling me that you believe in what the Confederates stood for, which was racism so, and slavery yes. and all that kind of stuff. Yes. To me, that's the message you're sending. That because, is the message. Because otherwise, when, you, when, you, when you're choosing sides on the North and the South and you want a Confederate flag, mm -hmm. that means I believe in that. Right. And that's the message you're sending to me. Exactly. I mean, that's the message they want to send. And I that's think your that's business, like, though. That's right? your business. You can do that. But I don't even know. Here's, here's my thing. If they don't take this thing down, it's really telling you how we really feel about racism in America. This has got to come down. It's got to come down. Well, here's the thing. Here's what I find disturbing. That people who live in these areas and this this never contested it. I was like, that, I read it. That's it's not flying in my, on my state. No. Capital. So hence, I didn't think twice about it. Like I said, as a kid, didn't think twice about the General Lee because it wasn't a reality for me here in the North. Right. But I saw so little of it. But for people who live that, who people see People live that, in, the, in South Carolina, they pass this building every day and no one has ever said anything until now. This has been okay. That's my issue. This has been okay until now. So my thing is like, for instance, all your NAACPs and your urban leagues, yes. Why would you never contest how inappropriate this was? I have no idea. If you're for the advancement of colored people, uh -huh. let's change that time right there. Why would you allow this to, to run amok like that at this level? Like I said, you can't do anything about it at a personal, personal level. level. But on the Capitol building of all places, it's still flying there, and I, I'm with you. No one has contested this. No one. Not people who live there, not people who pay tax. I wouldn't pay taxes with a flag flying over the Capitol building, and I live there. I would have a problem and an issue with that, and why more people don't or haven't is mind-boggling to me. You know, and I just... So, so now this whole, it's, it's bubbled back to the surface because obviously what happened in Charleston, South Carolina, and, and the issue behind it was, so um, their, their governor required, obviously, for all the flags, like the state, that's not the state flag, that's just, you know, which, once again, if it's not even the state flag, which would be crazier, why is it there? Why is it there? Who let that be like that all that time? So uh, I think her name is Nikki Haley, is yes, the, governor the governor of South Carolina. You know, obviously, as any state would require for the U.S. flag and the state flag to fly at half mass mm -hmm. in honoring the victims of, obviously, the shooting. Mm -hmm. And yet, the ignorant Confederate flag is, like, flying high and just waving in the wind, like, ha-ha, I got you. Come on. What a slap in the face. It is such a slap and in the Nikki face. And if Nikki Haley wants to impress me... Take that flag down because she says she doesn't have the legal authority. To Who needs the legal flag. authority to take a flag down that's not even supposed to be up there? She doesn't have the legal authority. That's what she's saying. Then but, she needs to get it. But Mitt Romney took to Twitter, which I think is very interesting. And I don't he trust said, a man named Mitt, but in this case, <laughs> Mitt Kitten, you know, Mittens got he, this right. He went to Twitter and he said, "Take down the Confederate flag at the SC Capitol, South Carolina Capitol." Too many, too many, it is a symbol of racial hatred. Remove it, remove it now to honor Charleston victims. And I think he got it right. How about just? 
remove it because it's a it's, it's a, wrong. It's a, it's a part of our history that is so ugly. That is so ugly. Mm-hmm. That is so ugly. Why do we need a reminder of guess what we used to do to you? Right. Come on, people. I just can't believe. And the thing, it's been there for a while. It's been there forever. But it wasn't waving in my face because I don't live in the south. Right. But now that I, now that I really step back and it's. I've never been to Columbia. So hence, outside of people driving down the street being ignorant. Um, and I've seen pickup trucks. And I'm, oh, like, yeah. and I'm like, that's a Yahoo. <laughs> Seriously. That, I, I knew what you were trying to say with that. I knew, I'm like, but that's your business. That's the message I, that's, that they You have a right say. to wave that flag. And if you want to back that up, that's your business. Back that thing up. That's your thing. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It's wrong and it's ignorant. But you have a right to do you, that. You, you're, left. you're right. You have a right but to be wrong you, and ignorant. But when you talk about any state building, right. there's no reason for why. This should be allowed to happen. Who, so, okay, I, I'm. I want to know. And Barack Obama said, "Good point, Mitt. He bought, can't he make them take it down? Like, just when you're the commander in chief, can't you just be like, just take that down? I'm just. Can't you just call and be like, take that down? Here's the thing. It's technically not a state-sanctioned flag, unless it is. Under, because you know, at one point during the Civil War, they had their own constitution in the South, mm-hmm. but that doesn't apply anymore because no. it's, 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 it was null and void That's once moot. we took it right. over. That's right. Moot. So I'm like trying to figure out what law says that a flag that really isn't a sanctioned flag. First of all, how is it up there? I don't know. How is that a sanctioned flag? I don't know. So I'm trying to figure out what law is it that you you don't have. You're the governor of the state, and you don't have jurisdiction to take this down. And I'm gonna tell you something. If you really want to see the fabric of what people are made of, what Nikki Haley needs to do is take this. It probably has to be a, a vote has to pass through legislation. Since for whatever reason she just can't what? take it down. I don't know why though. Whatever law it is, which by the way. Did she bother to cite the law that said she couldn't take it down? No, I don't think she did. She just said she doesn't have the, the authority. To okay, do it. so she doesn't have the authority. Who put it up there? Let's start with who put it up there and who had the authority to put it up there and then let's get with whoever that is and have them take it down. Okay, This so, doesn't look like it's hard. Well, here's the thing. If she says she doesn't have the authority, that makes me feel like it's saying from a state perspective, it has to go in front of probably the, legis- the legislator and they have to take a vote on it, which I think is crazy. Who here. voted it up there? Some racist people in the first place, Nikki. Right. But obviously, who thought that was okay? Right. But I want to know what article in their constitution says that. What, where is that? You know, was that agreement like, okay, if we're going to go along with this, we have one caveat, is that the flag will always fly. Okay. But I'm like, I'm serious. If you want to know what people are really made of, here's what you do. Put that on the table to be voted on. And, and any, I'm able to tell you any how people feel congressman it. that says they refuse to take it down because it's part of their history, that's, that's a person that you need to vote out who you know does not have your best interest at heart. Absolutely. Because they care more about a flag. Absolutely. More about a flag than they care about the people. Right. Absolutely. Than they care about the people. This isn't hard. I don't think this is a hard... We, we're making this harder than it should be. Just no, it's, take it it's, down. Yeah, it's not rocket science. It's but, not. The, but it's almost appalling that such a negative symbol of our history mm-hmm. would be allowed to be there. I'm not in shock because we do a lot of stuff wrong anyways in this country. Mm-hmm. But, you know, after having... It, it, it's sad it took a mass shooting like this with obviously the kid draping himself in it and toting guns and all that kind of stuff. It's sad that it took something like that. The tragedy. Travesty. To make that come out. And what's interesting, so they were saying in South Carolina, which is the last state, interesting, to fly the Confederate yes. flag above its state house, that in 2000, lawmakers agreed to move it from the state house dome to a Confederate war memorial on state house grounds. So maybe that's, so this went to vote that they were moving it to a Confederate war memorial and it was coming off of state house grounds. Well, it looks like it said it was still at the Capitol. So somehow this law that was passed in 2000 wasn't fully followed through. It's still, isn't it's, that what they're reporting? That it's flying at the state Capitol? It is at the Capitol Along with the U.S. flag yeah. and their actual state flag. Right. So they said in 2000, lawmakers agreed, which once again, I get that you have a Confederate law, you know, war memorial. I'm not going to bash that because for what it was worth, there was a point in this time in this country where we didn't see eye to eye. And there are people who fall for that, who, who, who actually died. built the South. Right. Whether we saw eye to eye, it's respectable, whatever. People died for a cause. Right. I'm not going to bash you and say you should you know, defame that war memorial. And if that's where that flag, that's where that flag like belongs. Means, that's and I'm not even going like, to like be rude and say, no, no, no. No, that's where that flag belongs. Right. It's a part of that history. Right. And sometimes you can't negate that. So I'm fine with that. But if that law was passed in 2000, why is it 15 years later? That, why is it still at the state capitol? That's my question. I don't know. I, I've been trying to figure this out. I'm like, this is appalling to me that this thing is still flying so, at the Capitol building for all this time and no one has said anything. So here's what happened. So Haley, who spoke to ABC News, said only the General Assembly can actually decide to remove that flag. Okay. Well, when's the next time you meet? It needs to be the first thing on the, on the docket to be talked about and it needs to come down. Mm-hmm. 
And if any one of them says no, I'm going to be like, well, why? I'm interested to see if this is going to, it's got to well, come down. And I'm, I mean, it's got to. And I'm going to really put the ball in her court and say, if you want to impress me, Miss Haley, you need to push this agenda. The people in this state should be demanding. And actually, it is starting to bubble up and more people are starting to demand that it comes down. It has to. You know, and I'm like, when you can get mitt. <laughs> right. And actually, you do know, as this as this whole presidential race unfolds, this is now going to be one of the topics on the table. So, you know, Jindal, Bobby Jindal from Louisiana, who put his bid in, who clearly does not like black people. No. He makes it clear in everything he says. I want to hear what he has to say. Nothing. And I my, think he'll be quiet on this. No, no, no. Because my thing is, when the question comes out to you, when you're campaigning, what are you going to say? No comment? No comment means I'm okay with it. Right. So... Unfortunately for these presidential candidates, you know, this whole shooting thing has really unfolded a whole bag of questions that you probably didn't want to deal with, but you, but you can't, you got to do it. Yeah. You got to deal with it. You know, Jeb, you know, Jeb Bush, you know, who, who probably has enough sense. He's got enough pedigree to know what he's supposed he, to say. He does. And if he doesn't, I'm confused why he doesn't. He does. You know, so I just think this is insane that we've come this far and people in the South, see, this is, let me just be radical for one minute. Go radical, ahead. radical, because I don't live there. Go ahead. I'll be honest. It's amazing what a lot of people of color will contend with. And it's not until something bad that happens, happens that people then kind of want to stand up and flex their muscles. Whatever happened to be being preemptive on stuff? I, seeing something wrong? I agree. And doing something. Why, why do the pieces all have to fall apart before people want to lobby and make things right? I would have an issue with that. I, I would not be con- content if I lived in South Carolina and this thing is, and I'm paying taxes and everything. I would have a huge issue with that. A huge issue, and I don't know why anybody else has not. They, they just live there, and it's okay. It's odd to me. So I don't. I don't know. I don't know why it took. Why it took all of this to have people say something about it. But and it's sad. And I think a lot of the issues that we see unfold in this country, like we only get to have real conversations about race when something, something bad happens, happens. Yes. and then all of a sudden it's okay to have the conversation. How about we not have a knee jerk reaction to it and start to really have the conversation? I don't care if people want to talk about it or not. Mm-hmm. We have problems here, yes, and they're do. never going to go away unless we're willing to really sit down and have a conversation. Now, mind you, I'm going to be honest about this. Having a conversation doesn't mean you're going to change some people's minds. Some people are staunchly invested in these thoughts they have. Mm-hmm. Perception is reality. I say this to people all the time, and even if what you see in front of you does not really tell the full story, it's people gonna are worse. not going to dig that deep because people like dirty laundry. Yes, They're not going to dig that deep to really find how much truth is here. Right. People know people are poor. People know that crime is usually equated to poverty. Mm-hmm. People know that poor education usually equates to poverty, which then equates there's to crime. crime. Yes. There's, a, there's, there's a formula here. Yes. But people are not going to bother to be honest and do what they need to do. Because it's an ugly thing and nobody wants to talk about it. And it, it just keeps festering yes. and growing. And that's what people have to... This, this young 21-year-old boy who shouldn't have an issue with nobody, mm-hmm. but we don't know his full story yet, it still doesn't make okay what he did. The backdrop of this country has just come back up again. So my question is, are we going to really talk about it and try to put solutions in place? And solutions aren't quick fixes. No. This is a long-term fix. Yes. It's a long-term Because it's been fix. existing for so long. So you Since can't have a quick fix. Right. So you can't have a quick fix for something that's existed always. So that's the first food for thought. The next food for thought is going to be, <laughs> this is interesting. You know, all the things that women do in regards to butt implants and eyelashes, are they really duping men? I think that's crazy. The Maya Kai Show with Nikki Brayton. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Maya on Twitter at the... Join the conversation. Call at 708-223-0036. Remember, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to break. Maya Akai Show or Instagram at Maya Akai. One of them had a break in it. Okay. Video to stay on. Yeah, you can do it. And go like this if you want video. On. No, you can keep it on. 
It's that first segment we don't want, but you can stay okay. on that one. The audio, video, all that can just stay on. Um, the celebrity part is not until after the I know. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got the Taylor Swift. Okay, good. Oh, about the Apple thing? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. She was like, uh, and they was like, okay, we're fixing it. How you can have that.